Hello Brick Smarties, Brick Smarty here. So here's part 9 in my LEGO Deep Sea Creatures series, Monsters of the Deep. Seven brand new MOC 2 to 1 alternates of the LEGO 31088 Deep Sea Creatures set. This means it takes two 31088 sets to build each of them. OK, so the seven new MOCs are Godzilla, a two-headed shark, a sea serpent, the Kraken, Monstrum Mysterium, Sharktopus, and Tamatoa, the giant crab. Today I'll show you how to build the Sea Serpent and Sharktopus, and if you'd like to see any of the other builds, just let me know in the comments below. Before we get any further into this, I would like to invite you to get involved. So please like, comment, and subscribe to Bricksmart Workshop so you'll be the first to see my new MOCs. It does help me, and the more subs I get, the more MOCs I'll be able to post, so please subscribe today. OK, so let's take a closer look at the monsters. Godzilla originated from Japanese monster movies in the 1950s. It's an enormous, destructive, prehistoric sea monster, awakened and empowered by nuclear radiation. It has evolved into a global pop culture icon, in Hollywood movies, video games and so on. Although my Godzilla was not modelled on any one particular movie model. I've had to double up on the hinge pieces at the hip joints to support his weight, but it seemed to work out pretty well. As you can see, my Godzilla sports a rather impressive belly, but you can remove the whole piece if you want to put him on a diet. I've also created a removable plasma blast coming from his mouth. Next up, the two-headed shark has popped up in various low-budget movies, stories and video games, but a few rare examples have been actually caught in real life. Generally though, real two-headed sharks don't live very long. But they look cool, weird and scary, and it's a lot of fun to build. Next we have the Sea Serpent. The Sea Serpent, or Sea Dragon, is a type of dragon described in various mythologies. The Sea Serpent is illustrated in many different ways, but all are legless and most are wingless too. Some have suggested the origins of the myth may be a real sea creature, such as the oarfish or sea snakes. This sea serpent can be posed lying horizontally or in the reared up position using the stand that's included in the build. And this is one I'll be sharing with you later in this video. Then we have the Kraken. The Kraken is a legendary cephalopod-like sea monster of gigantic size from Norse sagas that dwells off the coast of Scandinavia and terrorises nearby sailors. It is thought to have originated from sightings of giant squids that may grow up to 50 feet long. The Kraken has made frequent appearances in fictional works over the years, including two of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I've created a small ship to give some idea of the scale, with the limited pieces that were available after finishing the Kraken. Next up is the Monstrum Mysterium, or Mystery Monster. Monstrum Mysterium is the name I have given an image I kept coming across while researching the Monsters of the Deep series. It was used as a thumbnail for a YouTube video about sea monsters, but when I watched the video there was no further mention. Eventually I discovered the image on ArtStation, a creation by Sergei Chesnikov, but it was just called Sea Monster. This monster appears to have a reptile head, a shark fin and a whale tail. But the thing that really catches the eye is the split lower jaw that reminds me of the Predator. Scary. So these were all features I've captured with this LEGO MOC. Next is Sharktopus, a hybrid monster slash military experiment on the loose that features an occult sci-fi B-movie of the same name. If a shark is scary, then a shark that can walk up the beach on its eight octopus legs and attack unsuspecting beachgoers while they relax in the sun must be even more scary, right? As a LEGO model it was fun to create and took several iterations to develop a version that was poseable without falling flat on its face. Sharktopus is the second build I'll be sharing with you a little later in this video. So the last monster of the deep I want to share with you today is Tamatoa. Tamatoa was an original creation featured in the 2016 animated Disney movie Moana. The movie Tamatoa had treasure covering his shell, whereas I have chosen to stash it in a chest underneath him. You may also notice that my Tamatoa has all his legs, whereas the lower section of one of his front legs was missing in the movie crap. Well, you can just remove the end section if you wish. 
This model is highly poseable and we had a lot of fun posing the claws and creating various expressions by opening the mouth and waving the eyeball from side to side. Right, so let's make a start with the sea serpent build now.
And that's a sea serpent build. Okay, so let's make a start with the Sharktopus build.
that's the Sharktopus build. If you'd rather work from instructions that look like this, you can buy them at rebrickable.com. Just follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You made it this far, so why not give us a like or make a comment below? Click here if you'd like to see some more of the LEGO Deep Sea Creatures series, or here if you'd like to see some of my other LEGO digital builds. And don't forget to subscribe to BrickSmart Workshop so you don't miss any of my new MOCs.